All right, everybody. Once you have all of your windows drawn in and the side of the building that's facing the street, each one of those angles are aimed at the vanishing point and the side of the building that's facing towards you, those are vertical and horizontal only. All right, once you have all the windows drawn in, then we can begin to think about including things that we would see in a city. But before I go any further, I want to show you something. If you take the side of your pencil, which is, you know, it's wider versus the point, and I'm going to, uh, well, light generally comes from over top of our heads, and wherever the light doesn't reach, there's often a shadow. So if I were to shade in the side of my building just a little bit, you're going to begin to see how quickly your drawing is going to begin to look 3D. Now I'm going to use my ruler as masking. And can you see how when I do that, it really makes that building, when I add a shadow in between the buildings where the light can't reach, begins to make it look a little bit more 3D, all right? You don't have to do this. I'm just doing this for the demonstration purposes of this tutorial so that you can see how when we begin to include the shadows and the color and that sort of thing, we begin to really see the three-dimensional aspects of the one-point perspective drawing.